Let's speak of confidence, conflict, and creativity. We all strive for balance, and we'd all like to think that we are consistent and integrated in our thoughts and actions. Maybe those are just pipe dreams. The truth is that even the most wholesome people are often all over the map. The mind is madly trying to sort through a few million influences of cold information and hot personal imprint. Our parents, families, uh, uh, friends, colleagues, associates, even strangers on the streets and people in the coffee shop leave large marks and small ones on our vulnerable, sponge-like psyches. In theory, if not in practice, in potential, thank goodness not always realized, I carry within me a serial killer like Ted Bundy and the magnificence of Gandhi, Mother Teresa, and Mandela. When I was younger, I used to think of these many different energies within me as conflicts gave up that idea years ago because I didn't want to live in a state of agitation. Now I think of these varying shades of David as creative tension. The idea is that some differences are working themselves out within me. If I'm just quiet and I can relax for a moment and adopt an attitude of que sera sera, then sooner or later these things will be resolved. In fact, the less I do, the better. For example, if it is true that I am tremendously self-confident in some situations and almost pummeled by self-doubt in others, does that mean that my self-confidence is mere bravado and bluster? No, it doesn't. My self-confidence is in fact completely real and legitimate. I'm a broadcaster and an actor. On one occasion I was the MC at a concert with 50,000 paying guests. I had no script and I killed. I'm one of those odd creatures who gets turned on by a crowd, a microphone, and a camera. Now sometimes like you, like everyone else, I have bad days. I have moments when I just feel like a complete slug. Don't want to do anything, go anywhere, or see anyone. The catch is that I long ago gave up that childish notion that every minute of every day has to be a circus and a birthday party. Some days and some moments are about laundry and doing the dishes, paying the bills, have to earn a few bucks to pay the bills. Great happiness and intense pleasures must often wait. Tough bananas. When Buddha came along, the story goes, everybody, all the other Buddhas, were carrying on about paths to happiness. And he snorted and said, what are you kidding me? Life is difficult. It's a mess. Our real task is to survive the pain. Then if we got 20 minutes left over, we can break out the blueberry pie. I am many things, some of them sweet, others not so attractive. I try my best to be reasonable and kind. If I don't make it there every second of every waking hour, I can't waste more energy beating myself up. As the great Irish playwright Sam Beckett said, fail, fail again, fail better. Pickle, Walt Whitman, said it best. Do I contradict myself? Yes, I contradict myself. I am large. I contain multitudes.